people sounds like a trip. Hey, you. hey, hey, it decided to record. All right, I'm just going to make this video quick because it's acting really silly right now. But um, I wanted to show you guys my results after I did a hot oil treatment with some Wonder 8 oil. You can probably get that at your local Walmart or hair store. And I went to three beauty supply stores, y'all, and finally found some Elastic QP. And the price done gone up on that junk, man. It's like six seventy five now. This recession is for real. But anyways, I still had to put down the money because you know I needed that Elastic QP bad. I have to say is with some awesome results. I put the um, heat bonnet on both times um, while I was deep conditioning my hair. I used the baby um, shampoo to shampoo out the hot oil and I detangled my hair with the elastic UP in, put it in some twist and then sat underneath the bonnet dryer with my um, shower cap on. Um, but I have to say I decided to do my cake curly again because I feel like it's the best for my hair right now as far as low manipulation so this is also a ask miss E there was a question asked and I think it was asked by Dominican black boy um, with the eye but I think this was asked um, is it bad to play in your hair and I think that um, it it's kind of a personal preference but at the same time there is a yes or no answer to this um to physically play in this part of your hair all the time it's not really a good thing because you're the oils you know in your hair are coming off in your hand and you're constantly manipulating your hair and we all know that low manipulation styles are better for your hair protective styles are better for your hair so playing in your hair constantly that is not what necessarily stimulates growth I saw someone put a comment about oh it stimulates hair growth playing with this part of your hair does not stimulate hair growth playing with your scalp now that's a different story if you sit there and randomly rub your scalp and stimulate your hair it follicle in stimulating the um, actual blood flow that is going on on your scalp now that is what stimulates the hair growth so if you're going to play in your hair, I recommend that the best way to play in your hair is to actually massage your scalp. And if you are trying to grow hair right now, or you know, if you did your big chop or you're trying to grow it longer, it is good to take a good, you know, few minutes, 10 minutes out of your day every day and just sit there and massage your scalp. If you want to use your favorite essential oil um, on your fingertips or something, it's a really good thing to do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to laugh. My, <laughs> my boyfriend's over here massaging his scalp. <laughs> He's pretty much massaging coconut oil. Is that your favorite essential oil? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. His favorite oil is coconut oil. So, um... <laughs> He's massaging coconut oil into his scalp right now. But, um, I'll check you guys later. And I will be... And... and <laughs> well, and um, I'll show you guys the progress throughout the week and hopefully get back to more of these Ask Miss E's. So this is the curl. I sit there with the kinky curly in sections and, and actually pull the gel through um, on each strand clump. And so yeah, it does take a while, but it gives my hair the desired effect that I want. So um, this is day one hair, fresh day one hair. Super day one, didn't even sleep on it day one hair. And it still has those elongated curls. And it's looking good. And so I will talk to y'all 